even if you want to go into back end or front end development it's good to start with html and css and i'm going to explain why keep watching hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm excited to share with you my journey on how i transitioned from studying microbiology in the university to becoming a software engineer and i'm also going to be sharing some tips with you in case you are planning to make a huge career change into tech so stay tuned and let's dive in As someone that had no access to computer growing up, I never knew that at some point I would be working with computer like every day and making money using computer actually. After my secondary school, I was supposed to take jam exam, so that's like matriculation exam to get into the university and that was the first time in my country we were gonna use computer to take the exam and I was worried my parents were worried everybody was worried because I didn't have computer I didn't know how to operate it so even while others were going for lessons specific to the exam they were taking my parents decided to enroll me in computer training at least let me learn how to know where, what is control A and <laughs> Of course, we were taught MS Word, obviously, Corel Draw and all, but also we were introduced to HTML. In case you don't know what HTML is, it's just like introduction to web development. I got more interested in the HTML. The little we were introduced to, I was so fascinated. So I went to the university to study the course I applied for, obviously. I said bye bye to HTML because I didn't have any computer, I didn't have any laptop to, you know, do the practice or one or two. So I said bye bye to wait, even though I liked it. But yeah, luckily for me, my institution made it compulsory then that every fresher must have a laptop. Oh, that was good news for me because I knew my dad could afford it. Just that maybe he didn't see the need for it or I don't know. And that was how I got my very first laptop. And anybody that asked me then, I said, yeah, I know HTML. I know web design. Come, let me teach you. I mean, I taught a couple of friends this, the little I knew then. That was just the initial graph. You know, because after a while it died down, the temp paper, the assignments, everything came in. So I had to drop the HTML stuff, you know, to pursue the actual stuff I came for. That was it to my final year. As someone from Nigeria, looking at a career in microbiology was, it was like, no, there was no future because a lot of people I knew then as microbiologists or biochemists, a lot of them were working in the banks. I mean, so that was reality. Although I wanted to have my master's, but uh, I, I didn't see any future in my country as a microbiologist. I had to re-strategize, you know. That was when I remembered again that I had a skill. I had HTML skill. <laughs> after i already settled the school stuff and i was back home doing nothing then covid came but a lot of companies and organizations were reaching out and giving discounts then even udemy they gave a lot of discounts on their courses we had the google certification plural sites so we had a lot of organizations that were helping people that wanted to go into tech so i utilized it but i will also advise against trying to gather everything because it overwhelmed me at some point when i was trying to any organization any company any site i hear that is offering free courses and stuff i would go there and carry everything i mean it was overwhelming i hadn't even finished the course the particular course i started i wouldn't advise anybody to to gather everything at once because no 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 the first course i started with was introduction to web development by travis media any resources or material that i mentioned in this video i'm going to be linking it down in the description so you can check it out 
introduction to web development where i had to learn the basic at least i would say like the first thing if you want to become a web developer front-end developer precisely i would call it like in the intro course just as a side note i always advise people like if you want to go into web development i mean it wouldn't hurt starting with that even if you want to go into back end or front end development no matter the area you want to go in at the end it's good to start with html and css and i'm going to explain why keep watching the course was really very helpful for me the reason why i said that anybody that want to go into web development should start with html and css is because so when i went to check out python python is is a different programming language and i watched some tutorials and when i was trying to grab what python was all about i was being taught different things that at least i saw that they were working but i didn't know why they were working i wasn't i wasn't seeing anything in my head i was saying how what the heck is this how how am i gonna apply this how how would this work how can i put it together it can be discouraging when you are doing something and you are not seeing results and you don't even know where where you are gonna apply it i know that's one of the challenges that a lot of beginners have because i did i faced that a lot but that's why i i do advise if you want to go into software engineering web development please start with html css i left the python and went back to continue my html css and when when i was doing the html you are seeing results immediately you know what you are doing i mean you are coding you are viewing it on the browser you are seeing that what you are doing is working how you can apply it in a real life scenario you know it it helps a lot when you see results because if you say i want to go into back end and you are moving there let's say you you are choosing python to be your own back end language and you are going into it immediately if you don't have like someone like me that didn't have a mentorship if if you don't have anybody you can easily get discouraged because you are not seeing nothing you are just learning for loop function if else you know <laughs> that's my own piece of advice anything i mentioned in this video is from my own experience it's not it mustn't apply to everybody but i'm just sharing from my own experience another thing that can't ever be overemphasized is making your own research when you are able to make research when you are able to be resourceful on your own it boosts your your morale it gives you a lot of confidence i didn't have anybody that was telling me hey how is it going i didn't have anybody that i would even reach out to to say hey i'm having this blocker hey i can't figure this out can you help me i had to pick up i had to buckle down you know and do it on my own so i started researching anytime i had issue i would just google myself out using the internet to find your answer that's what i mean here another organization that really helped me was free code camp they have up to about four hour long courses five hours that would explain to you html css javascript any field you want to go into as a developer or as a programmer they have courses that cover those areas i can't remember if there was a slack channel for free code camp but any course i go to after taking the course i do search if they have a community on slack or if they have a community on discord anyone that did have a community i would join as a beginner because you are always searching because you are always researching on how to do this how to do that a lot of info will be popping up and from there you will see different communities that you're able to join some other platforms that i don't want to miss calling out in this video are code academy they have exercises they have courses like free code camp it has a pro version but i only used the free courses they really helped me and also front end mentor they have a slack channel they give a lot of real life exercises for you to do if you have any question you go to their slack channel a lot of people are there to help so don't miss out on front end mentor in case 
case you don't already know me, my name is Promise. I'm from Nigeria. I'm currently a digital nomad, a mortar, and I'm a software engineer. I share contents about my life, how I travel, and how I do my work as a software engineer, digital nomad. If you like my content or if you like the video you are watching currently, do subscribe to my channel and give us some thumbs up. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you get to know when I upload new videos. Keep watching. One of the major challenges that upcoming developers have is getting an entry level role. It was a challenge for me too. You will see a lot of job postings, they will be like, you must have five years experience. <laughs> Yes, my face is a good I don't even know how to use computer. One of the things that helped me to land my first role as a front-end developer was gaining some practical experience, doing some internship that was not paid. After the unpaid internship, I landed another internship, but this time that was a paid one, and I got to learn some other things in the job. That brings me to saying, you don't have to know it all before you start applying. I know a lot of us battle with imposter syndrome when you think you, you are not good enough. Can you do it? Are you up to that already? What helped me through that? I knew that anything that would come up, Google is out there. That I, I, I felt like I knew that I would be able to save myself from reset. The internship ended and I was made a full-time staff as a junior front-end developer and that was how I got started. Yes! Yes! A lot of us were already in our head. Yes, I want to work at Google. Yes, I want to work at Apple, Facebook. Who doesn't? <laughs> the thing is, most times it's not possible for you to go from here to here. Ah! It's not always like it's not always like that. It's a gradual process, right? So another tip here is that in as much as you are looking for a full-time job, a full-time role, it's good to also look at some platform that might offer you a small job as a beginner for you to do and they will pay you and you are happy, they are happy. Reach out to friends to recommend you in case they need an intern or in case they need a junior developer that you are available is is helpful as well one thing i would also like to let you know is that you should never forget the power of networking as someone that want to go into tech as someone that is into tech anytime you hear some tech meetups or conferences never ignore those because they are crucial for you to network and meet people that might help you in the future or people that are also undergoing the same journey as you i'm going to be sharing the resources i mentioned in the video and if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section if you have some tips to add to this also let us know you can as well share your experience with us on how you made a huge career switch if you've been planning to make a huge career switch it's time for you to do so because for me making this switch has been one of the best decisions i've taken and i'm just telling you out there that it's time for you to pursue your passion and your goal and believe me it's gonna pay up eventually thank you for always tuning in to my channel and liking my videos i'm going to see you in an upcoming one until then stay safe ciao ciao